Good afternoon, this is Dan Riley with the National Weather Service with the latest update on Tropical Storm Hanna as of Friday 4 p.m. Here you can see the latest uh, position of Hanna. Hanna located over the uh, western Gulf of Mexico uh, has intensified now with maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour. It is moving toward the west at about 10 miles per hour. The storm is forecast to reach the Texas coast during the day on Saturday, making landfall down in the coastal bend area, perhaps now as a hurricane. So there have been hurricane warnings posted for areas near landfall. Cone indicates the most likely track of the center, so as we get closer to landfall, the uh, uncertainty of the landfalling area, of course, comes down. So you can see it really focused now in on the coastal bend. But even though the center is tracking well south of our area, we still will see some impacts here with some locally heavy rains, some coastal flooding, and also some gusty winds, especially closer to the center track. So we'll talk about all these hazards uh, shortly. So looking at Tropical Storm Hanna, as far as impacts to our area, we're thinking this is mainly a heavy rain and flash flood event, uh, potentially. And we do have flash flood watches out for parts of the area, and we'll talk about that, but also some elevated tides will cause some uh, coastal flooding, um, especially as you get down south of Sargent, down into the Matagorda Bay area, but also some minor coastal flooding uh, up farther north along Galveston and even Galveston Bay. Also, th there will be marine hazards. Uh, the storm will really kick up seas um, out over the coastal waters, especially south of Matagorda, closer to the track of the storm. There is also some threat, a marginal threat of tornadoes and winds, uh, tornado threat right along the coast, winds more down south of San Luis Pass, uh, but especially down in the coastal bend area, which is outside of our area. Here's a look at Tropical Storm Hanna as of about uh, 4 p.m. And you could see it there over the Gulf of Mexico looking uh, better now uh, with some spiral banding to the south and north of the center. And uh, it's consistent with that the higher wind speeds that are being measured around the storm. So again, it's up to 50 miles per hour now as a tropical storm with potential to intensify further to a category one hurricane. Here's a look at the latest uh, radar, uh, actually as of uh, about 3, 3.30 p.m. You can see actually see the swirl of the storm from the Houston Galveston Weather uh, Service radar. Uh, so you can see it clearly heading uh, steadily west toward the Texas coast, again, most likely toward that coastal bend area. As far as watches and warnings, um, in the upper left, you'll see in green the counties that are in a flash flood watch. On the lower left in red, you see the counties that are under a tropical storm warning. That's where we would expect the gustiest uh, and strongest winds. And then the other image there showing the purple lines, those areas are under a storm surge warning. So a storm surge flood warning. So uh, that's where we expect uh, storm surge flooding to be most significant south of Sargent, down across Matagorda Bay, and then points south as well. But not shown farther north, we, we also have some coastal flooding going on uh, along uh, Galveston Island, uh, Gulf Coast beaches north of Sargent up to High Island, and then over parts of uh, Galveston Bay. The wind speed probability map here again shows kind of zeroing in on the uh, high wind threat areas down there near the coastal bend down toward Corpus Christi and then lower wind probabilities as you get farther north into our area. So even Matagorda Bay uh, now with just a 20 to 30 percent chance of seeing those sustained tropical storm force winds uh, which are of course 39 miles per hour or greater 
and then uh, not expecting to see those type of winds as you get much farther north, certainly not in the Houston-Galveston area. The wind speed probabilities for 50 knots of wind uh, sustain 58 mile per hour winds, again focusing on that coastal bend area where they could also see, as we've said, even hurricane force winds near the center of the uh, track. Wind timing, when will those tropical storm force winds arrive down the coast? Looking now at uh, likely Saturday morning, say Saturday midday, uh, as the most likely arrival time of tropical storm force winds. This uh, map on the left-hand side produced by the Hurricane Center kind of gives you the big picture of what kind of storm surge flooding we're looking at. Uh, we are looking at two to four feet potentially from uh, Sargent down to Baffin Bay and then uh, northeast of Sargent to High Island and around Galveston Bay, one to two feet of storm surge flooding, uh, water above ground level in the lower areas. Uh, so that's kind of gives you the big picture of the storm surge impact. We also have a uh, storm surge prediction model, rather a tide, a water level prediction model uh, at a tide gauge location. And you can see the forecast there for Galveston Bay entrance. Uh, we had a pretty high tide today, around three and a half feet above mean lower low water. The next high tide uh, this evening forecast to be even a bit higher. Uh, late this afternoon and this evening above four feet. So um, those high, higher tides up around four feet probably will continue into tomorrow morning. Storm total rain, uh, not much change in this graphic for our area since uh, our most recent briefing, uh, but we're looking at two to four inches of rain in those dark green areas, uh, perhaps locally up to eight inches, however, in any heavier bands that uh, move into southeast Texas. Notice the large area of six to 10 inches, even greater than 10 inches of rain down the coast, closer to the track of the storm. So where will the greatest risk of flash flooding be? You can see that on this map on the left-hand side, the flash flood risk or excessive rainfall uh, map showing the different uh, probabilities, risk levels for flash flooding. So on this map, the reds indicate a moderate risk, the yellows a slight risk, and the light greens marginal, meaning perhaps some isolated flash flood occurrences. So you can see as far as Southeast Texas is concerned, it's really the coastal areas like, like we've talked about that have the greatest risk of flash flooding over the next three days as the storm passes us. As far as the tornado potential, there is a, a very a small threat of tornadoes really along the coastal counties once again, uh, perhaps very late tonight uh, up along our northern, uh, the upper Texas coast, and then uh, in that dark green shaded area during the day tomorrow, uh, just a chance of an isolated tornado or two. But the, this is not the main impact from this system. So just to sum up, uh, Tropical Storm Hannah continues to strengthen, could become a Category 1 hurricane before landfall in the coastal bend area on Saturday. The main impact for Southeast Texas, thunderstorms, some with heavy downpours, rainfall two to four inches for coastal counties, perhaps up to eight inches in heavier bands. A flash flood watch is in effect uh, for portions of that area, the higher rainfall areas. Gusty winds to tropical storm force winds are possible, especially along the coast south of San Luis Pass, where we do have a tropical storm warning in effect. As we said, the, the, the highest chances of those levels of winds are even farther south down into the coastal bend area, where there's a hurricane warning also uh, in effect. Elevated surf and tides will lead to mostly minor coastal flooding. Uh, uh, for areas north of Sargent, uh, but south of there, we, we do have a storm surge warning, uh, perhaps with more of a coastal flood issue closer to the track of the storm. Looking at inundation of two to four feet above ground possible south of Sargent, where that storm surge warning is in effect, one to two feet of inundation 
likely along coastal areas northeast of Sarge and Ta'ai Island and along the western shore of Galveston Bay. And we do have a coastal flood warning in effect for those areas. As far as confidence, uh, higher confidence now as far as the intensity and the track. Uh, what remains most uncertain, I think, are the position of any heavier bands that we're, we may have to deal with uh, during the day tomorrow and perhaps even Sunday. So um, that still is to remain, uh, remains to be determined. Uh, so uh, we will be continue to update Tropical Storm Hannah. And uh, thank you for listening.